If you want your UI to look better, it's super easy to make custom button sprites to use in Unity. So hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and let's see how it's done. I'm going to make a 3D button that looks like it gets pressed down when you click on it. I'll do this by using the sprite swap option on the button. So I'll make two different sprites, one's a default unpressed sprite, and the second will be a pressed sprite. You can follow the same process to make the sprite change however you want to. You can even choose to make two more sprites to change how the button looks when it's selected or disabled. I like to use Krita because it's free and it's what I'm used to, but you can use anything you're comfortable with. Just keep in mind that it'll be easier if you can either use vector graphics or layers. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new vector layer and then remove the default background layer. Then I'm going to select the rectangle tool, and under the tool options, I'm going to add a radius to the corners. Now I'll just draw a rectangle and then change the dimensions to the shape that I want. I'll make a copy of it and turn one of them blue to show you that you can either have a set color for the sprite, or you can change it later in Unity. Next we can add some text to the buttons, and we'll make sure that it's centered on the button. Now we'll make a copy of the rectangle and drag it down a little bit, then change the color slightly and make sure it's sent to the back. This is what makes the button look 3D. So now we can copy the whole button, then select the text and the top rectangle and move them down a little bit. This will be the sprite we use when the button is pressed. Now we can line up the buttons so it's easier to split them up in Unity, and then resize the canvas to fit only the buttons. To get the sprites into Unity, you can either export directly into the Assets folder, or you can just drag and drop the image into the folder. Then in the Inspector, we want to make sure that the image is marked as a sprite, and then change the Sprite Mode to Multiple. Now we can go into the sprite editor and slice the image into multiple slices. I find it's easiest to start by using the slice menu and going under type and selecting grid by cell count. In this case we have two columns and two rows. Now we can just go make sure that all of the edges line up where they should and hit apply. Alternatively, if you're more organized than I am, and all of your sprites are spaced evenly, you can slice by cell size. However you do it, you need to make sure that the center point is in the same spot for each of the sprites, otherwise your button's going to move around every time you switch a sprite. Now we can go and create a couple of buttons, and since we put text on the sprites, we can just delete the text object. Then under the button component, we can change the transition to sprite swap, then you just need to drag the sprites into each of these input fields. In this case we only made two, so I'll use the default sprite for all but the pressed one. You can also open the image component and change the default appearance of the button. This is also where you can change the color of the button. Now if we play, we can see that when we click on the button, the sprite swaps to the press sprite. So all you need to do is make a sprite for each of the button states you want to use, and then drag them into the correct fields on the button. So now you can stop using Unity's default sprites and make your menus look a lot better. So be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.